in 1970, Bill was at Kennedy Airport with his trio. They patted him down, and they found the syringe, and that was it. They went into the suitcases, and they found a huge stash of heroin. Bill told me that at that time, he was shooting up every 45 minutes. Bill went on methadone, which he kept up for a number of years, and um, he looked great. Bill kind of went through the classic midlife crisis. You know, he grew a beard and he, you know, and he got into clothes. He always used to like to wear those flashy sport jackets. Looked like somebody in the, from Hawaii, <laughs> you know, a tourist. Bill Evans comes out here, and they're at the Playboy Club. Standing next to me for at least 20 minutes was Bill Evans, but I didn't recognize him. He lived in the Bronx. With his um, first wife, really her common law wife, Elaine. Elaine, she was a sweetheart, really. She was totally devoted to Bill. She was with him all the way through the times when things were really, really bad and they were literally on the streets. I felt a lot of warmth and love toward her. You know, my whole family did. They knew she was an addict. They didn't care. They loved her. He wanted a child, and he couldn't have a child with Elaine. And then he got hooked up with Nanette. Working at uh, Conscious by the Sea, Redondo Beach, he met her there. She was a waitress there in the club. Bill just, you know, he, he flipped over Nanette. You know, he took her back to New York and, and went and told Elaine that, you know, she had no idea what was happening. Like, so this, this came as a complete shock to her. And I called her when I found out he was going to leave, you know, and um, said, come stay with us in Baton Rouge for a while. But uh, she didn't. I just don't think she could envision a life without him. I was at work, and I get a call from Bill, and he said, um, Elaine is dead. She uh, threw herself in front of a subway. Oh. All of us, yeah, I, have, I was just uh, heartbroken. I remember going to the funeral. Bill was driving. You know, Bill took it really hard. I think it was maybe a couple of months later, and here, you know, my next trip down to New York, I'm going to Bill's wedding, you know. They got married in a big hotel in New York. He was 43, and she was 27. She did provide what he had wanted so badly a beautiful, healthy child named Evan Evans. They had the house in New Jersey, I think, just about that time. That was a good period in his life. I mean, really happy, about as happy as I'd ever seen him. Here's a woman who gave him a marriage, who gave him a son, who gave him a stepdaughter, Maxine, wonderful girl who loved Bill and whom Bill treated as his daughter. I think Nanette gave Bill 
another, almost another 10 years of life.